Hello, my fellow plebes. Hello. So, for outfit number one, this is what we have. The main premise of Y2K style is really just a small tank top and some big pants. Like honestly, as long as you have just a tank top and some baggy jeans, baggy pants, baggy trousers, whatever you want, you're all set with the Y2K style. So I'm wearing this like blue tank top that I thrifted with these baggy jeans that were originally my dad's but I resized them. You know, you can watch the video how I did that right there. But yeah, so I just topped it all off with some jewelry, this black shoulder bag because you know, of course, like the only bags people in the 2000s wore were shoulder bags. So if you guys want to dress Y2K, you guys should definitely bolster your collection of shoulder bags. You can just find them at the thrift store, honestly. They're really, really cheap there. Also, that's one cool thing is look at my earrings. They're like stars. That's honestly why I love like the 2000s style so much. I feel like 2000s was like so like funky and out there. So many colors, patterns, textures, shapes. But I feel like now it's more just like toned down. Like it's all about like the basics, the essentials, having like neutral tones. So it's just like personal preference, but I liked it like when it was like more like style was like more like wild and stuff. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I'm filming. You <laughs> said that. Hey, Jonna. Yeah. Yo. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, for our second outfit, we are getting a little fancy. We have a mini skirt on with a pink tank top. So, another huge trend in the 2000s was just like mini skirts and, of course, a tank top, like I said before. I just paired this like it's like a really cute gray and pink pleated mini skirt with a pink tank top. Color coordination was really, really important during this era. I try to make it as pink as possible. So we have a pink bag here with these pink shoes. And these pink shoes are my mom's and they're like heels and they are actually so hard to walk in, but they make me feel so cute. Like I feel like Cinderella wearing these. Also, let's talk about the jewelry for a minute here. I'm going with like a flower theme. So I have this rose necklace with some flower earrings. And these flower like wire earrings are literally so cute. There is one cool thing I can show you. Isn't this adorable? This makes me feel like I'm in Mean Girls. Are you ready for my slow-mo hallway walk? Is my iced coffee why did I think that held any comedic value tell me okay so for a look number three I want to change it up a little bit because there's literally only so many ways and combinations you can just wear a tank top and baggy jeans first you can't forget the headbands this is totally not an old t-shirt cut up because I don't have a white headband so I'm just wearing this like white turtleneck short sleeve for the summertime and this plaid skirt pairing it off with a bag and some sandals. So you can definitely also be like super girly and like wear skirts and stuff with the Y2K style aesthetic. But I actually really do like like that little headband on top. I think it acts like as a perfect accent piece and ties everything together. Oh yes, yes I am a millionaire, thank you for asking. What's your name? Why is this bitch so weird? Like imagine just like wearing this out to a grocery shopping, to the post office, to getting a poke bowl. Like this is beyond extra, but I am living for it. I feel like a 90s model. Oh, is this how they pose? 
Okay, next outfit. Hear me out on this outfit. No, we're not gonna hear you out. This outfit is literally so ugly. Oh my god. Moving on. So I was going for like the look. Like I feel like there's there's just like some girls who are like super crazy with their colors. Like we have like a color blocking trend here. Even though like the fit looks low key ugly, in general, it's still really cute. Okay, hear me out here. Let's break this outfit down. We have this blue cropped tee and I thought it was really, really perfect because it just fit like the colorful baby tee vibe, okay? And then I have these like brown corduroy pants and to make it like a little unique, I just paired it with like this green bag. And like, even though it looks a little bit ugly, a lot ugly, but continue. Okay, like it looks like it shouldn't really fit. I think it's a look, okay? Like this outfit is a little controversial. I know, I know. But we always love a little controversy. So discuss, is this fit a fit? Okay, so this look is like a little bit more 90s, I would say, than 2000s. But honestly, like those two eras just kind of blend all together. So I'm just wearing like a collared shirt inside and just paired it with a gray sweatshirt, some mom jeans and sandals. Like I feel like I am Monica. I feel like I am Rachel. I am on the set of Friends, living in New York City, maybe going for a morning run. I feel good and I feel preppy. Like I feel like I'm on like the breakfast club or something, you know? I used to every single night, my mom would make me practice my flexibility. Oh my God. And I would be able to like literally lift my leg, like right here, like this would be my leg, okay? But I lost that as I got an older, my joints weaker. Ugh, the arthritis is really setting in. Oh my God, oh my God, oh! For look number six, I feel like the leader of the meme group in school, right? In all those 2000 movies. Like, I feel like Regina George, if she was a blue vibe instead of a pink. Let me explain why. So I am just wearing this like blue button down to change it up a little bit um, with these like white accent cuffs with my pleated skirt, of course, and some white and blue Nikes to finish the look off. And for some more color coordinating action, this blue and white bag, which matches perfectly with this whole outfit. Ooh, do you know what would actually also look really good? This is what my makeshift headband actually looks like. Okay, this headband looks kind of weird right now. I look like a nun. But it's fine. Like people who wear button down shirts and make it fashionable intimidate me a little bit. Here's the queen. Hello, my fellow plebes. Hello. 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 So this outfit is honestly like a two in one combo in terms of Y2K trends. We're leveling up from regular sweater vests because I've been seeing so many girls like wear like these mini cropped sweater vests. It's like from like the boy section or something. And like, they're honestly adorable. So I don't have like a mini cropped one. So this is just a sweater vest that I just tucked in and just kind of tucked it in at the shoulders to make it look smaller. Don't know if successfully, but it will have to do. And the second Y2K trend, these low-rise flare jeans. And obviously you guys know like low-rise jeans, super important, integral part of the whole entire aesthetic and style. But yeah, I just think like this outfit, again, super cute. I feel like just like a sweater vest in the summer is just like a nice way to spice it up, you know, to change the thing, to like just change your outfits from just regular tank tops to a little bit more texture, some spice. And honestly, this would be like 10 times cuter if I had like an Argyle sweater vest or something, but your girl doesn't, so this will have to do. So for this outfit, it is a variation of the first one, but let me explain to you what we have added. So honestly, these days I've been seeing so much of like layering trend where you like layer your camis over like a white shirt and I think it's like actually adorable. So I just layer the first outfit's blue tank top over just a regular white t-shirt and I just paired it with these low rise flare jeans from the last outfit as well and these denim kitchen heels to go with the whole entire blue look. Like I am telling you, Y2K is literally just all about monochrome color coordination basically you just want to look like a popsicle stick or like a blob of color 
So another way that you can definitely wear like Y2K is with oversized shirts. Like I know I stress like the importance of like tank tops, mini tees. So we have like an oversized shirt on top, but like a white mini skirt on the bottom. And you can honestly dress this outfit like up or down. I decided to dress it up with just some sandals and a bag. It's like a going out outfit. And I honestly think that's really, really cute. I just put my hair up as well and with like a silver lock necklace this time. Okay, another huge trend for YJK is, can you guys guess it? Matching sets! And all like the movies, research, research really just means watching Mean Girls, but research that I've done for this video, matching sets are literally so popular in like the 2000s. Like everyone was so cute. Like this kind of just like goes in with like the whole like color coordinating, monochrome outfits, matching sets. You see, like, it's all about coordination. I got this set from, like, Forever 21 literally when I was, like, in seventh grade because I thought, like, this was so cute and trendy. This set is low-key ugly, not gonna lie, but it's, like, the only really, like, matching set I have, so. I kind of feel like Santa, but, like, gothy Santa. For our last outfit of the day, I thought that I would finish off with a top that I made. I know, I'm just so cool. Um, but actually I did make a video on this top and how I made it. I'll link it above, but it was a really cool thrift flip and it was really fun and I honestly should wear this top more. I just thought that this is like an IMG inspired top. It kind of reminds me of like something that people in like Euphoria would wear or something. So it's just like this like backless halter neck. So I think that this outfit definitely ties in like the whole like Y2K like bad bitch energy. What was I even doing? Bad bitch energy.